It's a reunion they couldn't have imagined. Hi! Hi. It's good. I'm Jen. Sarah. Hi. I'm Greg. Hi, Greg. Sarah and Greg Lindsay meet the woman who found something very special to them. Greg. And there's your ring. That is amazing. That's awesome. Two years ago, the couple was at the beach when Greg's ring slipped off his finger and fell into the water. I mean, I thought it was somewhere in, in the Pacific, you know, I, there was no way I thought after losing it, I'm like, there's no way it'll come back on shore. Jen Burcham was walking along Elwood Beach with her family. She bent down to pick up what she thought was a bottle cap. It turned out to be a wedding ring with a very special inscription. Oh my gosh, it's a ring. <laughs> and then I was looking at it and I read the inscription uh -huh. and I was like, I love my life, my lobster and official, uh, like in my mind, I thought a lobster fisherman. Greg isn't a lobster fisherman, but the name does have a special meaning. Come on, you guys, it's a known fact that lobsters fall in love and mate for life. One of the episodes was, yeah, where they talk about Ross and Rachel being each other's lobsters, and I looked at her and I said, hey, you're going to be my lobster. And <laughs> that's why she had an inscription in there. So. Yeah. Let's see if we can find the owner of the, this wedding band. Jen wanted to find the ring's owner and posted a picture of it on Facebook. As of today, there are 8,547 shares of that picture. One of those shares was from Sarah's coworker, who told her the story. She read everything that you had posted and I was like, that's my ring. Well, that's my husband's ring. And so she showed it to me and sure enough, it was the ring. It took just four days for Jen to find the Lindsay's. Just trying to update people like it's been found. Right. Totally restored my faith in humanity. I was like, wow, there is still honest, good people out here like Jen to be able to do the right thing. So it was pretty cool. It turns out the ring didn't make it that far over the past two years. And now it's back where it belongs. In Goleta, I'm Victoria Sanchez.